five, six, seven, eight, and. That was Rivers of Babylon, originally by the Melodians, but played by lots of other folks. I think the best known or most popular version probably was by Boney M. Uh, and I, this arrangement, my arrangement, was closer to Boney M's than the Melodians, but it was, it was kind of adapted for a single ukulele instead of an entire band. Uh, and I played that straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'm gonna do a uh, basic tutorial covering everything I just played, including much easier ways to play it. And then at the very end, I'm gonna do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want hundreds more, free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video uh, tutorial and play along, just like this one, 
then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now I promised easier ways. Here's what it is. If your right hand is a problem, if you're a beginner or you just don't want to work that hard or think that hard, then forget the finger style I did in the intro and the outro, right? You can just strum that. All the intro and the outro is, is the chords of part one, one time through, you know, the, the first half of, of part one, uh, you can strum exactly the same way I actually strum part one. It's the same chords in the same timing, so... If your left hand is a problem, or you just don't want to think that hard or work that hard, you can ignore all of the bright red that I've written into the chords. What I've done, that, those, those suspended fourths, right? When I go from an F, that's an F suspended fourth, and back to an F. Or C, that's going to a C suspended fourth and back. Or, when I'm on, a, on an F and I do a second position F, do that in part two. You can ignore that too. That's a little super scripted too. You can just play an F for that whole time and a C for that whole time and it will sound great. It's correct. Has a little bit less panache, but especially if you're playing with somebody else, nobody will even notice. Really, really not. And if, if you're playing by yourself, it's not wrong. It's the right chord. It's a little less complex. It's a more simpler song that way. You can do that. All right, now I'm going to cover what I actually did play. Starting with the intro, that finger style is remarkably easy. I've got, by the way, when I do this, unless I have a good reason to differ from it, I got one finger on each string, and those are the assigned fingers. I don't need my pinky because I only have four strings. So I got one for each. So now you know which ones I pluck, right? Right? I, they pluck their assigned string. Each string is assigned one finger, so I don't have to tell you which fingers I use. Those are the ones. Okay, now I've got the F shape. I only make a tiny change with my left hand while I'm doing this. So it's the uh, counting from the floor. These are the third and fourth strings. So, and then I drop my ring finger on the second string, third fret. Right, I want to change this from this to this. So that's it. And then I pluck all four of them. I throw in that F suspended fourth, which you can or don't have to. And now for that C, I want to actually hear this note. So I cover two strings. It's kind of a C5, but... And I drop the ring finger again two frets up, but now it's on the fifth fret. Also, now I'm only plucking three strings. Just to add a little bit of more strength to this being the melody, right? So from there, I slide down in that position. I arch my, my index finger so I'm not covering the uh, A string anymore. But I slide down. This finger is going to stay on that string. So I just slide it down two frets and then pick it up for the F and that's it. That's the intro and the outro. Then from part one, well, parts one, two, and three, all of them, I couldn't describe the strum because it is so inconsistent. I just said strum with the lyrics. Evenly, not a bouncy. It's not by the rivers of Babylon. It's not that. It's even by the rivers of the song is played evenly that way, but also the what I'm sent playing, I mean, you know, the, the first time you start part one, there's, there's no chords, but when I'm playing, if I'm singing, I am playing with the lyrics. The only exception uh, to not playing with the lyrics is then when there's a pause and I'm not singing, I don't just let all the music drop. I do whatever strum feels natural to fill in the time in between. So, by the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down, and I keep playing. Whatever seems natural, however you like. 
By the way, so the, the F to the F suspended fourth, all I'm doing is laying down my index finger, laying it flat. That's it. That's that. There we wept. Now, the, your ring finger is already kind of suspended over the C. And from the C to the C suspended fourth, you're just going to drop your uh, index finger on the second string first fret. That's it. When we remembered Zion. Actually, don't do the suspended fourth there. But that's it. Second part. At the opening, I change to a second position F. All that means is I drop a ring finger on the third fret of the first string. Where the wicked carried us away in captivity required. So from the F to the B flat, I'm laying my index finger down flat to cover two strings now and change the other position of the other fingers. Required from us a song. And again, my index finger is kind of the anchor point. I'm just gonna pick it up and arch it so it only covers the second string now. Again, your, your ring finger is just kind of suspended over the uh, C. And that's it. Part three is the same chord transitions. F to C, F to C, F to F suspended fourth. That's it. Uh, that's the whole song. Okay, now I'm going to play through the entire song. But instead of duplicating everything, instead of playing the entire song twice, I'll play the intro. Once through parts one, two, and three. And then straight to the outro. Here it goes. It is a slow song to start with. I'll try to remember to keep going extra slow. My apologies in advance if I don't. Five, six, seven. Sorry. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, and.
That's it. See you Wednesday. Bye.